Can you say good morning? Kenny, look. Oh, this girl. Okay, so please don't mind the kitchen in the back. I still have to clean. Um, but yeah, happy Friday, guys. How's your Friday been going? Because hmm? my Friday so far has been pissing me off. <laughs> Just to say it simply. Um, right now it's, what time is it? Oh my God, I can't see. 10.30. It's 10.30. I haven't even opened up the blinds yet. We got Elmo in the back because uh, that's what I like to put on for baby girl in the morning. Um, like, just as she's about to take her nap, she just watches a little bit of whatever I decide to put on for that day. I really didn't do the kitchen last night, and I probably should have. Uh, but... What do you want to say? You don't want to talk right now? Hi. Oh, that's what she's been doing. But, um, I didn't do the kitchen last night because this little baby, well, I think it was technically my fault because, um, I just started her on the, let me show you. Uh, so usually, if you don't know, baby food hold on mommy baby food um usually has i don't think they're even on this one they were in the other ones but it would usually say um around the age that you should give it to them i think the lowest you can start is uh at at least four months it says like four plus um so i've been starting her on food on like baby food since she was like four months old. So I just recently, she's about to be six months. So, oh, this is so close. So I've been trying to give her, I've been trying to give her six months plus of food, which is basically, to my understanding, I think it's just that you, um, they mix food. Like I have like apple and prune in there. Then I have like strawberry and banana, but like the four month and up, um, it's just like single, like just banana, just pears, just, you know, like that. So I started doing the one that you mix stuff and I got her, um, I got her, hold on mama, I got her banana and a uh, blueberry. So she's had banana before. She's had banana before, but she's never had blueberry before. So I gave it to her yesterday morning and then... By like four o'clock, hi, I didn't leave you. By four o'clock, um, oh my God. Kenny, wait, let me get you out. By four o'clock yesterday, uh, I think she was having like really bad like acid reflux. So because, of, because I gave her that. So um, she like did like a literal, what is it called? Uh, projectile vomit. She did that yesterday. And it was so scary because she started like coughing really badly. Like she was like choking on her throw up. It was so scary. My mom was at work. So I wanted to call her so bad. But I was like, she's at work right now. Like, let me try to figure this out. It was so scary. The only time that she was calming down was when um, she was asleep. So I was trying to keep her asleep. And my mom gets home and I was telling her everything. And she was like, she was like, okay, let's put her into a hot bath. And what are you doing? Like massage her feet. Cause we looked up online and it said like when babies like have an upset stomach, they have like nerves in their feet. So if you massage, if you massage the nerves in the feet, then um it'll relax her stomach so we did that and it actually worked like she was calm and then we made her this like this thick rice cereal uh bottle and to like really fill her up i didn't feed her any solids last night because i was just so scared of like her not feeling good like we looked at the symptoms um online and everything that she had was pointing to like acid reflux like it was just she had like the hiccups really bad and she was like choking, um, like not choking, but you know. 
that worry transferred over into today because I didn't feed her bread. Well, I fed her a bottle, you know, and um, but I didn't do her normal feeding. So right now, 1030, she already took her first morning nap. So I think, I think I'm gonna try to give her some yogurt because I know she likes it and I know it doesn't like give her any problems or anything, but oh my gosh, uh, Kennedy, you wanna fly out? Um, I know it doesn't give her any problems, it fills her up, you know, so we're doing things a little bit different this morning, but it's okay. I already showered. I slicked my shit today. So, I'm going to make a little bootleg tripod moment. I have to get a tripod. But for now, I just get this coffee thing. Put a cup here for balance because I'm using my phone. It still seems dark in here. Hold on, Kennedy. So, like I said, uh, didn't clean last night. It's not that bad. It's just a bunch of big stuff from um, everyone like making their dinner and whatnot. So, yeah. And I haven't eaten anything in the morning. I'm not too much of a breakfast person, so it's hard for me to eat in the morning. I really don't like a lot of breakfast food, so I feel like. I don't know, I wish, I wanna um, start making smoothies. I feel like that would be really cute and um, healthy, especially if I don't eat breakfast, like a healthy smoothie in the morning is the least I can do. But we just went to go get eggs yesterday, so I'm gonna make just eggs, just something light, cause it's still, it's still way too early. Like I usually don't even eat till 12, at least. But um, I really don't want to do that anymore. I don't know. But what? My mom has been doing. Oh my gosh! Let me. Why are you crying? strapped in but she still just can get herself I don't know how she's doing that I wish there was a way that I can face it and you can see both of us but I haven't gotten my angles together We just got some new yogurt yesterday because she ate this whole thing in a matter of like, this whole thing in a matter of like two weeks. Look at her, she loves it. Can I open it, love? You are not starving. This girl loves to eat. You love to eat. I'm just gonna pour you some in this house. I know you like it. This might be her favorite food right now. Strawberry yogurt. That's her jam right now. But hang on, Mom. <laughs> hang on. You hungry, baby. Oh, my. I can't believe you're so hungry. You guys can always make up my first one. But I'll just talk. Just follow my voice. So, um... Yeah, so I don't think there's a food that I've given her yet that she truly does not like. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, yeah. So I don't really think there's a food that she does not, that I've given her that she does not like. Um, she eats greens really well. She, but I mean, with, correct me if I'm wrong, but like a lot of the greens, um, 
Like, I mean, I guess corn doesn't have any nutritional, or like, nutrition, that nutritional value. Sorry, I don't know why I didn't have that. Come on. Well, like, she's tried squash, kills it. She's tried sweet potato, loves that. She's tried pears, loves it. Apples, loves it. Prunes, likes it. Mango, likes it. Green beans, likes it. Carrots, uh, I think she likes it. The first food she ever tried was carrots and she wasn't, we thought that she wasn't really vibing with it too hard because you know when babies first try to eat, they, they push out the food. So you look crazy as hell. Um, they push out the food. She still kind of does it, but she's getting so much better at it. But um, she was pushing it out a lot, and like she was like rejecting it. Like she just, but she didn't. Feel, I didn't feel like she was really into it. So um, I wasn't getting her carrots for a while, but I was just like, let me just try it out. So I got her sweet carrots this last time. And she liked it. So I, I don't know. I don't remember if the first time I got her carrots was the sweet carrots or just regular carrots. I want to say it was just regular though. But um, but she wasn't vibing with this. So I was like, let me try the sweet ones. She liked with it. So I can't wait till she's like um, a little bit bigger so she can like try more stuff like watermelon, pineapple, um... Like, stuff like that. And then I feel like when she's, I think I said this before, but um, I feel like when she's able to, like, eat more solids, like, this is technically solids, but she's eating mush right now. But, um, so I just feel like when she's eating more solid food that she can feed to herself, uh, that, here you go, unpatient girl. Um, it will encourage me to eat healthier because right now, like, I don't want to go and say that I'm trying to lose weight. That would be great. But my eating habits are the worst. Like, at best, I eat two meals a day. I don't really snack too bad. Like, I don't have, like, a sweet tooth or anything like that. Like, I don't snack, but I don't eat. And the things that I eat, I'm almost positive they're very high in, like, sodium and carbs and stuff, like, like, I just, my, like, but not because I don't like healthy food. It's not because of that. But it's, like, and this is what, I know this is what everybody says, but I don't know what to make. I can make the same couple of things, and even that is not even the healthiest. Like, I, like, when I go to the store, stop it. When I go to the store, um, I don't know what to get, and I've tried getting fresh fresh produce, but it goes bad so fast. Like, I'm just wasting fruits and vegetables, I, I feel like. And, like, but even with that being said, I could do, like, my snacking a little better. Like, I could have cucumber for a snack instead of reaching for the hot Cheetos, you know? Um, but my mom is actually doing this. I don't think it's called a cleanse. It's she's doing like a um a liquid diet where she drinks like you know those V8 um those V8 vegetables. You can get like vegetables, you can get like fruit, and it's just supposed to is she having here? No. But then she's drinking uh she's also drinking these protein shakes because she's trying to do I think like five hundred calories a day. Um and she's going to do it for a whole month, is what she said. Um, I'm probably, I want to do that. Like, I want to see if I can do it. Um, because then I feel like if I do that, it'll open the door for me to start eating cleaner. Because once you do like a, like a, why am I trying to call it a cleanse? But something like a cleanse, and you go back to your bad eating habits, you're going to mess yourself up, you know? So I feel like I want to do that little liquid diet thing and then from after because i only want to do it for like two weeks and then after that i want to like try really being dedicated to like you're i gotta change her again she's dirty too um change her what 
Oh, God, what was I saying? Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, I want to do the liquid diet for like two weeks. And then I want to go into like eating healthy. I already have some stuff that I found on Pinterest that's really cute to make. Mind you, I don't cook. I don't know how to I want to learn so badly. But I just... I don't know like when I was younger my mom was in the kitchen I was not helping like I just never bothered to ask her to learn or like like stand there like watch her like help her out like I just my little mind was just not worrying about that you know but now that I'm older like she would like cook um like she she's a good cook so like she could and she cooks like healthy meals like fish dinners and shit and I'm like I'll just have some spaghetti because that's easy but I want to start like making like I would like sit and I would watch her how to do stuff and like the seasoning she would use you know like I can't put freaking seasoning saw on everything like that's ridiculous that's ridiculous so we're gonna get to learning how to cook guys we are and my daughter's gonna be eating good because if I <laughs> if I have her eating like trash, she's I feel like she's gonna become a very picky eater. Her dad is a very picky eater. He does not eat vegetables. Nothing. He like I think it's a texture thing. I think he like how he explains it is the texture of the vegetables, like with everything else, throws him off. So he doesn't really like that. So, even if I'm learning to cook for me and my daughter, because he won't eat it if I, like, he won't eat it. And it's no animosity, it's no, you know, tension, no weird vibes. The things I like, he doesn't like that, and that's just his taste. So, starve. <laughs> so, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to say. Like, if it was up to him, she'd be eating steak and rice every night. Like, come on. Yo! You gotta chill, man. You gotta chill. All right, now I need to clean because I wanna make me something. I, I wanna make eggs, but I am just not like messes and like, that's my biggest pet peeve, a, a mess. Like, and every, everywhere. Like, I cannot peacefully relax and enjoy myself if my environment is disgusting i'm gonna need to clean before i do anything like i can't even sit out here in the living room and enjoy myself because the kitchen is right behind me oh my gosh if she's gonna be a, if she's like messy her dad's messy if she's gonna be messy i don't know what i'm gonna do I don't know what I'm gonna do. We won't be able to vibe if she's, uh, if she gets that trait. I didn't get that trait. I don't like, my little sister has that trait. She's the worst. She's the worst when it comes to. Thank you. Thank you for feeding me, mom. I fully believe that, like, being like a neat freak is a personality trait because some people just don't have it. Like they're like, like it just doesn't bother them. And I, I can't relate to that. Kennedy, <laughs> she just spit on my neck. Anyway, I don't know if you guys wanna see another cleaning. Hey now. Another cleaning montage because I feel like I, I do a lot of those because I like to see those on people's YouTube channels. So I'm just like, let me bring that shit over here. These past couple days, I've been feeling like I've been in like this little rut and I'm trying to get myself out of it. Um, and before you even go there, it's not postpartum. It's not anything to do with my kid. It's everything to do with these worldly worldly outside forces <laughs> that is what's pissing me off it's the things that i can't control that are really getting to me because 
I have a big problem with waiting my turn and waiting, um, you know, obviously things take time. So for me, waiting has always been so difficult for me. I really lack patience. Um, and like, I always feel like I'm just right about the moment to freak the fuck out every moment of the day. She loves to do this. We just chill out, to be honest. Like, I feel like 100% we were made for each other because, like, at five, I'm gonna start saying she's six months now because she's about to be six months. At six months old, we are just compatible. The energy when we're around each other, fireworks. She's my soulmate. I found my soulmate, guys. I found my soulmate. I'm gonna ask you guys on my Instagram um, what you would like to see from me, but I'm gonna give you options, okay? Uh, so make it, I'll make it a little easy, but if you're not following me on Instagram, check out that description. I just made her an Instagram. I'll put that also in the description um, because I really wanna get her into modeling and I don't have, like I have like cute pictures of her, of course, but I want to get like something of a por portfolio for her. So I think Instagram's a good way to do that. And it's a good way to like find, actually, hey, I don't think no modeling's going on right now. We're in 2020, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna clean first because I can't do anything and I'm just chatting. So I just finished all the cleaning I'm gonna do right now, but you guessed it. I gotta do laundry today. <laughs> And myself some of the um, apple cider vinegar water. But I put it in a, a big cup like this because usually the first thing I drink in the morning is some kind of juice, you know, I'm not, or like a tea. I'm not really a coffee person. I'm not really a coffee person. So I, I need to start drinking more water. This isn't really that big, but. I didn't put honey in this. I usually put honey in it because it, it makes it, it literally makes it taste like um, apple juice to me. So I'm gonna try it without the honey. I don't know, people say it's really bad. I don't know, I, I never, I never not, I've never made it without honey before. We're gonna put the honey in. Maybe I just put too much. I don't really know. So we're just gonna. I put ice in here though. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the back, you know. What can I do? Put like that much. It looks like a lot, but this is truly terrible, guys. So this is basically what I'm gonna eat. It's the sausage, some green and some red peppers. Um, put some seasoning in there. I put some red, uh, crushed red pepper. I put that on everything. I put uh, one avocado in here. It's a little bit brown because the, the ones that I got yesterday were super ready. But yeah, I'm just gonna eat this and then drink my water and then
Tonight she's having uh, I don't know to, prune and apple or apple prune. Got my this stuff here because that's my little makeshift tripod. Yeah. Yum. Do you like it? So far, she's like really killing it, you know? Don't touch mom's purse, please. No, thank you. Yum. Yeah. 